It is a great big delight to host to millions of Negro slaves who had been see, seared in the flames of withering injustice. It came as a joyous daybreak to end the long night of their captivity. So 100 years later, the Negro is still not free. 100 years later, the life of the Negro is still sadly crippled by the manacles of segregation and the chains of discrimination. 100 years later, the Negro lives on a lonely island of poverty in the midst of a vast ocean of material prosperity. 100 years later, the Negro is languished in the corners of American society and finds himself in exile in his own land. And so we've come here today to dramatize a shameful condition. We've come to our nation's capital to cash a check. When the architects of our republic wrote the magnificent words of the Constitution of the Declaration of Independence, they were signing a promissory note to which every American was to fall heir. This note was a promise that all men, yes, black men and white men as well, would be guaranteed the unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It is obvious today that America has defaulted on this promissory note, insofar as our citizens of color are concerned. Instead of honoring the sacred obligation, America has given the Negro people a bad check a check that has come back marked insufficient funds. But we refuse to believe that the bank of justice is bankrupt. We refuse to believe that there are insufficient funds in the great vaults of opportunity of this nation. And so we've come to cash this check, a check that will give us upon demand the riches of freedom and the security of justice. We have also come to this hollow spot to remind America of how fierce urgency of now. This is no time to engage in the luxury of cooling off or to take the tranquilizing drugs of gradualism. Now is the time to make real the promises of democracy. Now is the time to rise from the dark and dissonant valley of desegregation of to the sunlit path of racial, racial justice. Now is the time to lift our nation from the quicksand of racial injustice to the solid rock of brotherhood. Now is the time to make justice a reality for all God's children.